Okay, now. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another video. Welcome to the beautiful Interlagos, where we're going to be doing a Falcon Sports Car Challenge race on iRacing. Now, this series is multi class, it features the Ligier LMP3 and all of the GT4s. And I did a race a couple of videos ago at Bathurst and I was driving the LMP3. And in hindsight, I made a couple of moves that weren't really on. So I thought I would punish myself and drive the GT4 in this race and deal with the LMP3s myself. Now the combined I rating of all the drivers in this race is an average of about 3,300. But in the GT4 class that I'm in, the average I rating is 4,500. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to qualify. And qualifying went better than I expected. We actually qualified P3 with a 1 minute 39.218. Just over a tenth behind P2, but it's only a tenth back to P7. So this is going to be close. But before we jump on track, I want to say thank you to today's video sponsor, simrigsupport.com. Need expert support for your sim racing setup? Simrig Support has you covered. With over 2,000 hours of experience, Simrig Support excels in diagnosing and resolving issues quickly. You can book a ticket for remote help, send in your hardware for repair, or arrange an on site call out. All major brands are covered from wheels to PC problems. More info can be found in the link down below in the video description. So, if you've got any sim racing, hardware, computer issues, make sure to check out Simrig Support down below and thanks to those guys again for sponsoring another video so on with the race 30 minutes around interlagos starting p3 in the mclaren gt4 let's get on track here we go this is gonna be tough i know i say that every time but this is gonna be ridiculous this is a rolling start follow car number one in the left column strength of field in this class 4.5k Unbelievable. But we'll do the best we can. The safety car speed is 80 kilometers per hour. Try and keep it clean. Try and keep it safe as always. I did the race before this one. Had contact with an LMP3. Like, just one of those racing things. And we span. Finished P4, but the guy starting P6, Dries, is rapid. He's rapid. I thought he outqualified me on the last one. He got a similar qualifying time to me in the last race, so uh, he obviously couldn't hook it up this time for whatever reason. But it's not going to be easy. Again, BOP seems really good. McLaren, BMW, Aston, Martin. I thought the Porsche would have been up there. But I don't mind going backwards at the beginning to stay alive, as usual. But there's only a tenth between us and I think P7 which is crazy. And these two guys are a little bit ahead of everybody else. A couple of tenths, two and a half tenths in front of us. So those guys are probably gonna check out, I've no doubt. There we go. The little exhaust flames, okay, Get ready. give go, it away go, go. there. Car right. He's still there. He's still there. Car Whoever right. that was on the inside, who sent it to the end, you're an absolute. Alright, right side's clear, with the guy in front is Torres, and their rating is 8.0. Felix is nappy. Eduardo, I am very sorry, mate. I had nowhere to go because we sent it on the inside. Don't reverse on the track. Clean race would be nice. Mm -hmm. 
really important not to run wide there on lap one cool tires Try and stay in draft as long as we can. Okay, Dave, don't let this guy distract you. Bound to get off track there at some point. Yeah, so these guys are pulling away now, so it's the battle with the guys behind now. And then see what role the LMP3s play. Left side. Clear left. That lap was a 139.38. Didn't get held up too much there, thankfully. Oh, missed that. In fact, take it. Take the off-track, Dave. I think uh, I touched the grass there on the right, slightly. So I would have caused myself all kinds of problems if I tried to uh, save that there. Augusta might fancy you send here. Depends how quick his car is in a straight line. Okay, Dave, there's a faster car approaching. No more. Oh, look at that. Racing absolute nobody, forcing his way through. Another one, there we go. I knew I'd get one there. As long as we don't get a slow down.
Right, Augustine might be in here. Definitely quicker in a straight line, though. You are very stupid, mate. Very stupid. He's obviously running a little bit more downforce than we are. Which is getting him round this sector a bit better than us. Temperature's falling. It's now 31 Celsius. It's close now, though. Make it easy for him. No, See what he's Dave. got. Come on, mate. Defend your position. The guy ahead is Blanco, and their rating is little downshift to third might not seem it does much but it just helps me out a little bit that oh another one you have a five incident points I know see what the drafts like for us Point four back. Twenty minutes remaining. You've got twenty minutes left. In the tenth. Not that strong, actually, is it? What a fucking clue, and uh, you are six thousand K, and you are fourteen floor, and you go this move. What the fuck? You're so crazy. It's kicking off. The track temperature is decreasing. It's now twenty-eight Celsius. Trying to keep this guy honest. Okay, Dave. Stay He's quicker than I am. To make a mistake. I'm struggling to keep up here.
So Vincenzo, 3.3 back. Truck, yellow card. Another one. Has that changed? I don't think it used to be that harsh. What I like about the McLaren is got such good traction coming out the slower turns. I don't think I'd be able to do low 39s without draft. Keeping it honest though. There's the LMP threes coming now. There's a faster class car approaching. He's waiting. Blue flag. Oh no, it was the back mark that was racing actually. Blue flag. Car left. Clear left. Left side. Clear. On your left. Clear left. Come on, car right. Clear right. Could have done without that. Approaching. Vincenzo's caught up three tenths there. Minutes left. You're halfway home. Your fuel is fine. Might get lucky though with Adam. We should do. Beautiful. That is a magnet for off tracks, that little bit of astroturf there. So we're still in touch. Pass the car behind. I need to turn off the auto wipers. Again, we might get lucky with Felix here. Blue flag. 
if he waits. Okay, Dave, you've used half your fuel. That, that was at 139.25. That'll do for me. Augustine searching for draft there. So he's obviously pushing, needs all the help he can get. Even looked at fuel yet? Ah, uh, we're going to be all right for fuel. Plenty. Put 55 liters in. Sorry, Vincenzo. What the fuck? No sorry for Vincenzo, please. Okay, Dave. Keep Alan on the pressure. He'll make a mistake. Your lap times are pretty consistent. There's a faster car approaching. Get off there. Blue flag. Hopefully Matt doesn't go for it here. Yeah, so you leave the door the open and then you suddenly close the door. I don't know, mate. Car right. Clear right. Cheers for waiting, Matt. See you there. Oh, it's wide. Just can't make any progress. Yeah, we'll forward here. I've got plenty of room around me. Blue flag. You don't have that luxury. Cheers, Matt Legend. Put the flag out, I'll take it. That lap time was 139.52. Pedro's flying, jeez. He's up 10. He could catch us, you know. 3.8 seconds back. Track 
temperature's rising. It's now 31 Celsius. OK, Dave, we're matching race pace. <coughs> Yeah, 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 no, 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 sorry. Not sorry. Not sorry, sorry I'm not talking much. Just trying to turn the screw on this chancer. wide. Oh, too early. Damn! That could have been a chance if we've got a good exit there. That could have been a chance. So fuel's still looking good. All right, Dave, you've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. I know, Jim. Right, we've got Matthew coming now. Hopefully Matthew reads the situation. There's a faster class car behind. Okay, now. Car left. Still there. Clear left. Great reading of the situation there, Matthew. It's all about reading the race, isn't it? OK, Dave. Five minutes to go, five minutes left. Stay on it. This isn't over yet. That lap was a 139.69. Sector 2 is 0.5 off the pace. I hope he could sense my sarcasm. On your right. Right side's clear. The car behind's a faster class. Need to try and nail that final turn. Be on his bumper. Coming out the final turn, that's what we need. Okay, Dave, stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. Yeah, we need to be within like a couple of tenths. Pulled away from Pedro though, which is good.
scrubbed off a bit too much speed there. Too much steering input. We haven't given him a breather though, have we? A little bit closer this time. Not enough for a send, but it'll give us a good idea of where we need to be. Should be two more laps. Okay, Dave, we estimate you've got five minutes of fuel remaining. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Okay, now didn't give us much room there, did he? Right, that's how we're playing it. We didn't die, so could always be worse. It just puts you a bit well, it makes you uneasy, doesn't it? You know, if you go for an overtake now, knowing what is just defended like, squeeze me right up there. I should have, I should have pushed myself a bit further over, I think. Ross is waiting. What a legend. We're running on fumes, mate. Oh, is Ross finished? No, I think Ross is finished. Instant points though. Don't start with your wipers. Trying to get, trying to build up a bit of a gap here by breaking a bit earlier. Trying to put me off. Very little fuel left. Nah, not enough. You have eight incident points. Not enough. Damn, we're giving a good go though. Good hard racing. Flag. I enjoyed that. That was good. Okay, that's the end. Good finish, mate. Well done. Well, let's pull over and have a look at the carnage, shall we? Great racing, Augustine. I enjoyed that. 
Right, let's have a look at the only real incident that we had during the race with Augustine. So we get a really good run out of turn two, or he messes up turn one, which puts us in a good position to at least have a bit of a look down the outside, which is what we did. So he takes a defensive line, as you would expect. We then maybe jumped out there a little bit too early, but he squeezes us right over. There's no room there. To be honest, there's nothing in that. It's just good, close, hard racing. Both of us there completely disregarded the off-track on exit. But I don't have an issue with that. Closing stages of the race, it's just good, hard racing. So on with the rest of the carnage. There was a couple of bits of carnage at the start, wasn't there, that we came across involving the LMP3s. There was a bit of debris on the main street. That's probably why. In blinking. Three wide there. It's not going to end well. Oh, no. It didn't end well for that guy. Bit tight there. Oh. Oh, dear me. Dear, dear, dear me. No damage. Porsche was made of granite. No time for blinkers. Goodbye, my friend. He's going to blink. He's not going to get chance. Go with the old switcheroony. Easy done. Easy done. Stay off the curbs. Just a scrape. There we go. It's got potential. Yeah, turned in a little bit early there. I think that was on that guy. Uh-oh. A bit of a kiss there. I've never ever felt I've never ever felt the need to go that close to the barrier. Oh. <laughs> then it gets taken out again. No. Oh. Oh, no. Good save from the Porsche. Tell you what, those Porsches don't move. Oh, that was the leader. Blimey, he was so lucky then. How did that happen? I mean, he's been really patient there. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that was bad driving there. From that Merc. He, he was really patient behind him. Oh, no. Where's he going to go? The tightest way possible. And that is it. It wasn't too bad, actually. Let's have a look at the results. So there were two splits for this race. This was the top split. The combined strength of field of all the drivers was 3,228. But the strength of field in our class was 4.5k. So we gained a little bit of safety rating there, somehow. But we gained 64i rating. So Ross got the overall win. In our class, 
Juan Torres got the win. Abel Torres was P2 and Augustin P3. An all-Spanish podium lockout. And this fat, old, bald Englishman finished P4. Car number nine started P17. Our fastest lap, a 39 flat. Well, not a million miles away. I know that was with draft, but not a million miles away. And we had eight incident points. But 198 championship points, if we were going for the division title, that would have been ideal. But we're not. So who was the biggest winner? This is going to take some going through. So we've got a 52. We've got a 64. That was me. We've got a 64. Is it us? Hang on a second. Hang on a second. 64. It is. We're the biggest winner with 64. And the biggest loser, I have to go all the way down here. Uh, so we've got a 97. Yeah, I think it is Eduardo Colausig. He lost 97. So there we go. Started P3, finished P4. Safety rating gain and an I rating gain. Cracking race there with Augustin. I just didn't have the drive out of the final turn. If we could get close enough during the race, I think we could have gone for an overtake. The only time we did have a chance to overtake, and he squeezed us up to the grass. But it was the latter stages of the race, and you would expect that. He left me enough room, but just enough room, which enabled him to keep that final podium position. But overall, a really good, fun race. And we didn't get killed by an LMP3. So if you did like the video, please remember, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of this garbage, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great week. See you later, cheese.